Hi, just wanted to outline some challenges that can happen with your calculator. Um, this is something that I see primarily affecting sharp calculators and can happen when we're dealing with very large numbers in our strength of material section. Um, so be careful on this and I'm going to show you the symptoms of where you may have wrong answers on your calculator. So I have two calculators set up. I have a Sharp and a Casio, and I'm going to run through a couple of calculations on both, so just so we can see the difference. Um, so I'll, let's just pick some uh, value, and I'm going to say, what if I took like 15 and I divide it by 8 on both calculators? So let's just see what we get. So here's my Sharp, 15 divided by 8, and I get a value 1.875, um, 15 divided by 8 here, and 1.875 so no problem there both give me the same value um where these calculators run into challenges is when we're dealing with very very small numbers okay and it's only one in particular um but let's say that i divide uh 15 instead of by 8 where i'd expect 1.875 i'm going to divide by A larger uh, value okay um, let's try it so 15 divided by 800 million and 15 divided by 800 million okay so first of all what you'll notice is that the sharp uh, will give you an answer not in scientific notation and we're pretty close so it tells you 0 .0000018 um, and versus the Casio which gives it to you in scientific notation by default okay so uh, already we're off by if we just wrote out that number on the sharp um, you're off you're missing your 75 at the end here's where it gets really bad um, so instead of uh, that, I'm going to add one extra decimal place. Okay, so let me punch that into my calculator. So 15 divided by... That. Okay, gives me 1.875 times 10 to the negative 9 on the Casio. Let's see what the sharp gives me. Okay. 0 0.000000001. Um, so if I was to write down the number that the sharp gave me as the default answer that it gives, um, my answer's probably almost off by double <laughs> to compared to what it should be or 50 percent if you ever get to the point where your sharp calculator is giving you a bunch of zeros with a digit after it please note it's not rounding that's not the only digit that's there it is just cutting them off and not writing out the rest of the digits um so how could you find it so if you have the sharp well, why don't we multiply by a thousand or something like that, and we can see all of a sudden those missing digits are there. One thing that you can try uh, as well in your Sharp calculator is to change the mode. So by default, this is in a mode known as Normal 1. Um, and there's a couple different variations of Sharp calculators, but you can change the mode so that it goes into... Uh, scientific notation a little bit earlier um, so how you get to that mode I guess on this calculator is using the setup button um, second function I guess of the m here um, we have this FSE so number one Turn this way. Um, and then we can choose between a few different functions or, or setups and normal two uh, number four is the one that we would be uh, wanting to use. Um, so I'm going to select that guy, uh, normal 2, and now let's take a look. So 15 divided by 8, 
gives me a 1.875. 15 divided by my large number gives me my value in exponential form uh, or scientific notation. Okay, so just be careful if you're using a sharp calculator, it can cause you grief on some of your problems if you're using very small numbers. Um, always be careful if you have a bunch of zeros and one or two digits that a lot of information may have just been cut off. It doesn't round up, it just doesn't display any more digits.